Have you ever thought, there's got to be a better and simpler way to learn organizational strategies? 5 Minutes Learning has a global and diverse collection of case studies to help management students click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our upcoming and interesting case studies. By 1999, Hershey's Foods had a market capitalization of $5 billion. As a leading confectionery company, Hershey's receives many orders from retailers every year. Despite this, Hershey's hadn't invested in or innovated in its IT systems. It didn't take long for Hershey's to be pressured by the retailers to create better delivery scheduling systems. To avoid this pressure, Hershey's rolled out an ERP system that should have taken four years instead of 30 months. A perfect recipe for disaster. Hershey's ended up being behind schedule during the Halloween season and lost out on sales to Mars and Nestle. Despite Hershey's having both the on hand supply and strong demand, a lack of implementation caused this disaster. Most of the analysis behind this case stresses the fact that Hershey's tried implementing too many changes without a well planned change management program. An interesting observation in this case is the importance of IT in the supply chain industry. IT now plays a very significant role in the successful implementation of a business strategy. The Hershey Company began upgrading its patchwork of legacy IT systems into an integrated ERP system in 1996. Despite a recommended implementation time of 48 months, Hershey's demanded a 30-month turnaround so that it could roll out the systems before Y2K. Based on these scheduling demands, the cutover was planned for July of 1999. In this instance, Hershey's Go Live coincided with the company's busiest periods, Halloween and Christmas, when the company received the majority of its orders. In order to meet Hershey's aggressive schedule, the implementation team had to compromise on critical systems testing phases. During the system's launch in July of 1999, orders failed to flow due to unforeseen issues. Due to this, Hershey's could not fulfill orders worth $100 million for Kisses and Jolly Ranchers, even though it had the majority of the inventory. Initially, the rollout appeared to be smooth. But slowly, problems pertaining to order fulfillment, processing, and shipping started to arise. Several consignments were shipped behind schedule, and even among those, several deliveries were incomplete. However, it was too late for Hershey to respond to this problem. An old logistics system was removed, making way for a new one that could not function as required. Without any data about the products in its hands, Hershey was often forced to call customers and inquire about the details of the quantity they received and ordered. When Hershey opted for the Big Bang approach to ERP implementation, it had supplies for around 8 days, this was higher than usual. Hershey maintained more supplies in order to address any minor problems that might occur during the implementation. But three weeks after the implementation of the new system, it was evident that Hershey would not be able to meet its deadlines as the shipments were delayed. As opposed to the usual five days that it takes to deliver the products, Hershey asked distributors for around 12 days to deliver their orders. However, Hershey missed that deadline too. By August 1999, the company was 15 days behind schedule in fulfilling orders. Several of Hershey's distributors who had ordered the products could not supply them to the retailers in time and hence lost their credibility in the market. Hershey also lost precious shelf space, for which there was high competition in the market. Customers began switching to products of competitors like Nestle and Mars. Retailers opined that not only short-term sales but long-term sales of Hershey's too would be affected. On the one hand, Hershey was unable to send the consignments on time due to problems in order entry, processing, and fulfillment. On the other hand, the warehouses were piled up with products ready for shipment, as the manufacturing process was running smoothly.
product inventory started to pile up and by the end of September 2000, the inventories were 25 times more than the inventories during the previous year. Hershey missed out on the deliveries, in spite of having enough products at its warehouses. With several orders remaining unfulfilled, Hershey's failure to implement the ERP software on time cost the company $150 million in sales. Profits for the third quarter of 1999 dropped by 19% and sales declined by 12%. The implementation team at Hershey made a fatal mistake by sacrificing systems testing for expediency. Due to this, critical data, process, and systems integration issues could have gone undetected for a long time. Testing phases are safety nets that should never be compromised. Testing with more realistic scenarios are more likely to uncover critical issues before cutover. Many authors have criticized Hershey's for deploying all three systems simultaneously in a Big Bang implementation effort. But, Hershey's implementation would have failed regardless of the approach. It was shortcuts related to systems testing, data migration, and training that led to failure rather than the implementation method. Had Hershey's put the systems through appropriate testing, it could have mitigated significant failure risks. Another reason for the failure was that Hershey implemented ERP during the peak season, and did not have time to rectify the mistakes arising out of problems pertaining to the implementation. Moreover, the Hershey company made another textbook implementation mistake, this time with respect to project timing. Initially, it tried to squeeze a complex ERP implementation project into an unreasonably short time frame. Further, it was unreasonable for Hershey's to expect that it could meet peak demand when its employees were not fully trained on the updated systems. The employees at Hershey were required to follow and understand how different businesses' operating processes were built into ERP. Even in the best-case implementation scenario, companies should still anticipate performance declines due to steep learning curves. Hershey's lack of experience implementing software solutions of this magnitude was also cited as contributing to the debacle. There had been a few customized systems implemented by Hershey in the past, but they were much smaller in scale. The top management did not conduct enough groundwork before going ahead with the implementation of this company-wide ERP solution. Since the groundwork was inadequate, the top management also fell short in guiding the company's technical and business managers. During ERP implementation, Hershey did not have the right processes in place to keep its senior management was regularly informed about how the implementation was proceeding. The consultants who were brought in later said the management had a lack of understanding of the project's scope. After the debacle, Hershey made efforts to stabilize SAP and other systems. The company appointed a new CIO, George Davis, from the Computer Sciences Corporation. A rigorous software testing program was implemented under his leadership. By September to October 2000, Hershey announced that most of the initial problems with the ERP systems were fixed. In 2000, Hershey was in a position to fulfill orders for Easter. The next peak season, Halloween Christmas, also passed smoothly. By the year 2000, Hershey was back on track, with sales reaching $4.2 billion. In conclusion, Hershey's case provides valuable lessons for companies implementing or planning to implement ERP. There are two key lessons to learn. One. Test the business processes and systems using a methodology designed to simulate realistic operating scenarios, and 2. Pay attention to the ERP schedule. These tips can help a company mitigate failure risks and succeed with ERP. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel for receiving updates about my upcoming case study videos.